Hi guys, this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music and in this lesson, let's learn the Christmas carol O Little Town of Bethlehem. A few things before we start learning it, I've chosen a specific tune of the song. There are many tunes of this arrangement. There's a choral tune which choirs do and uh, the version I've chosen is also done in a lot of ways. There are a lot of slower versions. So I thought I'll keep it a bit peppy and create like a folk version. So here's introducing you to a groovy folk version of O Little Town of Bethlehem, right? I'm going to be sharing the song on F major scale, but I've also notated it on the G major scale if you'd like to learn it on that. So do head over to Patreon and get yourselves a copy of the notation. Else, it's okay, you can still follow along. Let's get started. So I've chosen F major scale. Let's just go through that a little bit. One flat, B flat. And the chords which we build usually in a folk song are generally going to be the one chord, the four chord and the five chord of the scale. So if you take F major scale, F would be the one. This would be your F major triad. You want to get used to that. This is going to be used a lot in the song. Then you have the four chord, which is B flat major. Right? And you have the five chord, which is C major which is C, E, G. And sometimes, especially in the case of this song, we may also have a C seventh chord, which is... It's a four note chord. C, E, G, B flat. Okay? And before you start playing the song, it's also advisable to learn or practice each of these chords in its different inversions. So you could try out F, A, C, A, C, F, first inversion. C, F, A, second inversion. Similarly, C, E, G, E, G, C, G, C, E. And then the B flat, B flat, D, F, D, F, B flat, F, B flat, D. So these are pretty much the chords you're going to use in the song. Okay, so I'll come back to the chords very shortly. Let's first do the melody. The whole intention of this lesson is to be able to play the melody, the chords, the rhythm pattern, well, that's pretty much everything, isn't it? Every aspect of music on the piano. You're going to make people sing along and hopefully even dance along because we have a rhythmic version created for you. So let's first study the melody. It's a four-line melody. And the first two lines sort of repeat. They are copies of each other. And then again, the last line will be the same as the first two lines. And then you have a different, unique third line. It's sort of an A-A-B-A -A -A style of songwriting. Used very commonly for folk music. Okay, so let me demonstrate the A melody. Okay. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light. Right? Let's break that down. Oh, little town. Got that? C, F, F, F. And keep your fingering floating. You don't have to start here with your thumb, play this finger and then give up the thumb. The thumb can come back, isn't it? You can go, oh, little town. You can bring that back. I've also put a staccato marking in the notation which allows you that additional time to sort of swap your fingers. So, oh little town of Bethlehem. Let's get that. First was oh little town and then of Bethlehem of Bethlehem little quicker so oh little town of bethlehem ba -dum -pum 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 -ba -da 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 -dum. let's move on how still we see the light observe how i'm keeping my ring finger for that b flat it's highly recommended that you save your ring finger for the black notes on the piano and then the black note scales or scales using black notes or a scale having a lot of white notes won't really matter if you think about it it's just the way you align your fingers and be prepared for the melody so how still we see the light Do -do 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 -do. let's get the whole a tune okay 
Okay. Oh, town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light. And it goes on. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. And then we have a new line or a new melody where we go. Yetin, ta da da, tu du du, ta da 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 da. It's almost like a scale going down and up, so it's quite easy. Just watch the fingers. Yet in the dark street shine it again. Yet in the dark street shine it. Let's do that slower. Do do do, do 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 do, do 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 do. Maybe you want to break it like that. Do do do, do 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 do, do 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 do. All three together, all three parts. And then the everlasting light. Repeat the everlasting light. Now you could cross your thumb. I'm not a huge fan of that. So everlasting. Try to figure out a way to get your thumb here in the first place. And then we repeat the same. A melody which we did earlier for line four, thus constituting an A A B A style of melody writing. Let's work on the B melody one more time, just so that we all get a grip on that. Okay, and now. Coming to the left hand, so I'm going to break this down for you. The first thing I told you earlier, if you remembered well, is we are just going to use the F major chord, the B flat major chord, and the C major chord. And it's very important that you practice all the inversions of the chords. In other words, F major, still F major, still F major. Pretty much three ways of playing F major. Why inversions are also important for the left hand is otherwise the left hand may collide with the right hand, and then to compensate you'll play the right hand melody super high, and then it'll start sounding very screechy. And the left hand uh, you might want to go very low, but then that'll start sounding muddy, right? So we try to play in and around middle C, especially when we're, whenever we are playing our triads and block chords together. Okay, so let me tell you the chords uh, as I'm playing line A. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Hold a first line. We pretty much just hold F. So you could just start by holding the chord. Maybe O little and Beth Bethlehem. So you go Bethlehem, and now how still we see the lie will be B flat, C, and F. How still we change to C, F. How still we see the lie. Okay, that's a quick change. B flat, C. And notice, I'm using the inversions: B flat, C, F. Let's do the whole line. So it's F major, long, long chunk of F major, then B flat, C, and F. And the B flat, C, and F serve as resolving chords or chords which are not yet resolved. B flat is what we call the predominant or the subdominant. The C is what we call as the dominant, and that glides really neatly to the tonic chord, which is. Number one in this case F major. So it's also incredible songwriting when you're learning a Christmas song. The melodies are so harmonic in nature, in the sense that the melodies are composed keeping the harmony and the chords at the forefront while writing. Right? You probably don't even know what came first, or maybe they both happened together. So if you go F major in the beginning. Still, B flat. In this inversion, we see the last time. Repeat the same thing for line two. The deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by. Okay, and now the next section. 
again you just pretty much latch on to f major for the first two cycles or bars so for that part we go the everlasting light what did i do there the ever at at that word we play f major lasting same word but more the next syllables lasting b flat major light which is c dominant 7th the everlasting light again the ever b flat mm, c 7th if you cannot play c 7th it's okay you can play c major instead and repeat the last line or let me just do the third line again everlasting light and the last line will be same as the first line f major b flat c major f great so now coming to a nice peppy rhythm pattern which can add a lot of flavor so the rhythm pattern which i have chosen is a very popular latin rhythm pattern which i think all of you pianists need to get used to it's called the tresio now i have done a few videos on this pattern tresio triplets and a lot of other rhythmic topics perhaps you'd like to check them out as well at some point so the tresio rhythm pattern goes like this Okay, how do I count this? One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a agreed three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a so one e and a the a of the one one e and a two e and and how I'm voicing it is I'm playing the one with the bass one e and a two e and a. It's sort of like a broken chord where I do the bass note and then the remaining two notes of the chord, the middle note and the high note, with which are the remaining two beats of the tresio, one e and a two e and a, creating a very dancey vibe. One e and a two e. Speed it up. Why don't you try the tresio first on the F chord? And how I like to practice is play the tresio. and just first of all try and sing o oh, little town of bethlehem o oh, little town of bethlehem pam 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 pa re 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 pa re 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 or sing whatever ideally the song ta re 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 you don't have to be a great singer we are just trying to sing in order to coordinate with our piano okay so once you've got a hold of that you then play the melody o oh, little town of bethlehem let's only do that one e and a two e and a three e and a now okay and in my arrangement i have also not used the tresio rhythm pattern all the time i have also just played block chords here and there i have also done some octave doubling which i'd like you to check out so i'll break everything down the first two bars though use the tresio o oh, little town of bethlehem how still we see the light so at how still we see the light i am resolving it and not playing it so dancey i am just holding the chords b flat repeat for line 2 quite easy tresio hold let's do that again Slower, perhaps. Okay. Now moving on to line three, which is the only different line. There you do the tresio on F major. Another thing which I like you to do will be. you could do like a nice octave thing there which i think is quite cool it makes the melody a bit stronger so you go me that's where your octaves come in so yet in the 
Dark Street Sha a a i n e t D At the word shine it and then D you do the octaves of the melody just to break the tresio feel you don't want to use it all the time okay and then back to uh, holding the chords the everlasting light the everlasting light there i'm arpeggiating that last chord c dominant the everlasting light so light you'll have to hold the tune in your right hand and do this interesting arpeggio in the left hand let's do that whole line again and break it down stressio octave blocks and arpeggio wow that's quite a bit so let's see how it works okay let's do that again octave blocks arpeggio and then the last line i always recommend my students to practice things on multiple scales not only be limited by one or what appears to be simple so work it out on f major and i'd encourage you to try it out on g major as well the notation is in our patreon page you can download a copy we also have a midi version which you could import and also an mp3 and pretty much every format you will want uh, for the notation of o little town of bethlehem so in the g major domain it's going to be pretty much the same you just start with d and roll with it okay goes on and on Right guys so I hope you found the lesson useful again this is Jason here from the Nathaniel School of Music if there's anything else you'd like to learn do leave us a comment also requesting you to like share subscribe and all those nice things you could possibly do to this YouTube video and I will catch you in the next one have a lot of fun playing this Christmas song and a lot more are also going to be there cheers